Hello and welcome to our Sunday Gospel reading, Reflection and Prayer for the second Sunday of Advent. All these names, Pontius Pilate, Herod, Annas and Caiaphas, belong in the Passion of Christ. Why then do we hear them now before his birth? To remind us of why the Lord was born. Jesus Christ was born to die on the cross, says St Leo the Great. The winding road that Christ makes straight is the way to Calvary. With Christ, we want to walk in safety under the glory of God, by the light of his glory, with his mercy and integrity for escort. We do this in Advent by living the memory that Christ is born to save us. The love of Christ Jesus moves us to embrace every sacrifice that prepares in us the way of the cross. In Christ's flesh, all mankind shall see the salvation of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Judea, and Herod, being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Iturea and Trachonitis, and Lysanias, tetrarch of Abilene, in the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. And he went into all the region about the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, the voice of the one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. In this season of Advent, the Church invites us to prepare our hearts spiritually for the solemnity of Holy Christmas with the most attentive and assiduous listening to the Word of God which speaks to us today through the great figure of St John the Baptist. The Gospel passage, taken from St Luke, frames it in the historical framework of the great personalities of his time. With subtle irony, the evangelist points out that God, in the historical moment in which he chooses the right person to prepare hearts for his kingdom, does not use the voice of the great men of the world, accustomed to making their subjects tremble with their imperious word, but that of the Baptist, the precursor, the one sent by God to precede and announce the coming of the Messiah, and his kingdom. Called by the mighty voice of the Baptist, the people of Israel flocked to hear his prophetic message announcing the imminent coming of the kingdom of God. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be brought low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough ways shall be made smooth. The precursor invites Israel to prepare to receive the Saviour who brings to all the good news of eternal salvation. Every man purified by repentance of his sins and renewed by the sincere desire for new life will see the salvation of God. St John the Baptist teaches us that in order to welcome Jesus into our lives, we must first of all straighten out the distortions of the heart, freeing it from all sinful attachments and affections. It is necessary to fill the voids caused by laziness, spiritual indolence, 
the yielding of faith, inconstancy, and finally, lower the mountains of pride and selfishness. This program of radical change of life is the straight path of which St. John speaks, which leads to a life-changing encounter with God. Let us offer our petitions to the Eternal Father, who sent St. John the Baptist to announce the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We turn to him with our needs. For the renewal of the Church, that the Lord may sanctify her during this holy season of Advent. For our country, that the Lord may guide the minds of those who govern, that they might promote the common good and obtain justice for all. For catechists and all who teach the faith, that they may be given wisdom and grace as they form new generations of disciples of Christ. For our communities, that the Lord may draw us together in and through the sacramental life of the Church. For the poor, the sick, the homeless, the unemployed, the addicted, those who are ensnared in sin, the lonely and those who mourn. For those who care for the suffering, may they have the grace to know how to approach the wounds of others with truly Christ-like presence. We bring all our prayers to Our Lady, Star of the Sea. O Mary, Star of the Sea, Light of every ocean, Guide seafarers across all dark and stormy seas, that they may reach the haven of peace and light prepared in him who calmed the sea. As we set forth upon the oceans of the world and cross the deserts of our time, show us, O Mary, the fruit of your womb, for without your Son we are lost. Pray that we will never fail on life's journey, that in heart and mind, in word and deed, in days of turmoil and in days of calm, we will always look to Christ and say, Who is this that even wind and sea obey him? Amen. Loving Father, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Keep us faithful and true to you this Advent. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.